Okay, so uh, today we're going to talk about diode mode, multimeters, um, and how you can use the diode mode to troubleshoot electronics in general. So um, let's say you got you got an input output pin on some kind of device. This is a load. Um, you'll see in a lot of repair troubleshooting videos that someone places the red probe in diode mode on ground which is counterintuitive because red goes to plus usually um, there isn't and then they touch the input output pin or and they expecting to read the diode rope voltage like 0 0.5 or something like that um, the reason why they put it on uh, the red probe on ground is because uh, each input output pin has uh, two clamping diodes so by placing it on uh, um, on ground we, we're essentially measuring this clamping diode so let's say um, if this connection is broken then we wouldn't get any reading if for some reason uh, this is shorted in other words has uh, has a path uh, an unexpected path to ground and this will read a zero and you'll get you'll get a beep so um, by using this method we can test for two conditions one is when the pin for example is not soldered well um, but also when there is there is a short, um, you can essentially do same thing with VCC. In that case, you'd place ground on VCC and red probe um, on your pin. But you need to know uh, there might be multiple supplies on your circuit, so you need which one to probe. So usually see people testing against ground. So um, anyways, a little bit about multimeters. This is a uh, $50 multimeter. So uh, a nice, nice feature when, uh, when picking a multimeter um, for this purpose is to make sure it's very responsive in diode mode and it beeps um, interestingly this is a $50 multimeter this is uh, almost a thousand dollar multimeter and this thousand dollar multimeter uh, will not beep um, yeah, so it doesn't have this feature. Uh, if you have such a multimeter um, and you'd still want to, it to beep, then you might try to go in a map function. Uh, and you can choose compare. And you can set the high limit. And this multimeter has a beep mode for pass. Well, in our case, this is uh, failure. It's a little in inverted, so anything between uh, zero and one volt will beep. So if I use this feature, then I essentially got um, same feature. Anyways, um, a little bit more complicated to do it on uh, on uh, on this uh, expensive multimeter, but it's still possible. Uh, Anyways, so I hope you learned something today. Thank you.